Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to today's video where we are going to be doing a mini little review of a new brand for me, which is We Makeup. So I'm going to show you some of the products that I purchased for them and show you how I got this look here. And yeah, so if you want to hear more about We Makeup, please keep watching. Alright guys, so we're going to have a little bit of fun with some new Italian indie brand makeup today. Um, for those of you new here, hi, hi, I'm Carolyn. Welcome to my happy, hopefully very chill place here on YouTube where we talk about new makeup and old makeup and makeup, makeup stuff. Yes, anyway. <laughs> so We Makeup is an Italian indie brand. Um, what did they say? They actually have a little thing on the back of this box that says, We have been in the cosmetic industry for over 50 years with a clear goal. The best quality at wow prices that's what it says um, i just popped over to their instagram page and it just says we makeup is the newest indie brand in town high-end italian cosmetics at wow prices it's the same so it's a relatively i'm not gonna say inexpensive but like affordable makeup brand out of italy um they don't have like <sighs> Going onto the site, they don't have like every makeup product you need for like a full face. There's no complexion products or like highlighters or bronzers or anything yet, as far as I could tell. It's mostly eyeshadows, lip products, um, and mascara. Is that right? Oh, and there's some eye pencils. I didn't pick up an eye pencil. So what I got was um, you do your make your own palette thing. So it's a lot like Lethal Cosmetics where you just pick the colors that you want and it fills up the palette. So I'll go through these shades in a minute, but this is, this is the palette that I ended up creating. So these are the colors that I picked. Um, so, and they pop out, it's a magnetic uh, packaging. So you just pop them out with a little pin or something like that to get the, get the shades out. And they come individually packaged, which is really nice, obviously. Um, the only problem is, is that on the back of them, let me see if I can pop one out and show you. So, all right, so here's one of the one of the shades. Um, and so there'd be no way for me to tell what it is because there's no no labeling on the back. The, set, the number on there is just a generic number. So what I've done is I've actually kept the stickers that were on each of the packets and put them on a sheet of paper so I could tell you what, what they all are. And I'll have all the different colors down in the description box for you guys if you're interested. Um, yeah, so eyeshadow, they do eyeshadow palette, single eyeshadows, and then you can make your own. I picked up the More Mascara, and I picked two lip products up, the Even Lip Pencil, and the color I got was Wale, was Walalai Umber, I don't know if I'm saying that right. This one kind of a, well, it's on the lips, so it's like a brown, a rich kind of brown, reddish kind of color, and then the same color lipstick, it's in same yes just says 09 on here but the packaging does say well I lie umber so it's the same one so that's all the products that I picked up so that's why I'm saying this is kind of like a little mini mini review because I only have a few things to talk about so what I'd like to do is swatch all of the eyeshadows for you so you can see what the formula looks like obviously unless you pick the exact same shades that I have we're not gonna have the same palettes but it's more like um, what the different qualities of the different types of eyeshadows are. So I got three, one, two, three, four different formulas. So there's a matte, matte nude eyeshadows, matte color eyeshadows. I got a duochrome and then a 3D metal. And I am wearing three different matte shades on my eyes, one of the duochromes and the metal on the inner corner there. So again, let me show you what I got. Um, and just, you know, I've been testing this for a little while, so this isn't a first impression. I have been, except for the other products with the eyeshadow, I have been testing. Um, if you watched last week's uh, new makeup releases, that eyeshadow look in there was just one of these. It was this color here, which is just called 403. So, all right, let me go ahead and just do some quick swatches of these. We're not gonna take a huge time with this right now. I don't have a lot to, to talk about with it, but I just wanted to show you the way that these eyeshadows perform in case you're interested in trying the brand. And I have to say, so far I'm I'm very happy with it. I don't I, I really enjoy the, the shadows so far. Um, the lipstick that I'm wearing right now is very creamy, very easy, easy to wear, so that's been great. Um, the mascara, I'll get to it in a second, but I think that might be the only thing that I personally won't reach for again, but we will we will see. I mean, look at these colors here. They're so pretty and they're so like interesting. Like you just put one shade on your eye and it's definitely like a, 
wow, you're, it looks like you're wearing so many different colors at the same time. It's so cool. The shadows, the matte shadows, are very smooth textured. Um, they're very easy. They're definitely eyeshadows and not pressed pigments. So you do have to work to build them up a little bit. I'm just building up these colors here. Okay, so here's all the shadows that I have in my little palette. So I'll just tell you what they are as we go through them. Okay, so this one, they just have numbers by the way, so there's not like any fancy names, okay? So this is one of the 3D metal shades, and this is just 306. Then these ones are all mattes, so it's 135, 130, 106, and 115. Then these both here are duochromes, and while they may not look that, like, they're really beautiful in person, they're just not showing up as beautifully, I think, in the camera as they should. But this is the duochrome 403, and then 400 here. Then this, which you really can't see, is a very, very pale kind of peachy color. Um, that's 102, 117, 108, 134, 113, 142, 147, and 144. So I've mostly been playing with kind of the duochromes and the kind of pinky side of this palette because I realized that I failed to get like a shimmer that I thought would work with the more brown green side of it. So I think I will use the mattes in here and then maybe reach into a different palette for more shimmers to kind of, um, what's the right word? To add, not add, um, to enhance some of the looks with this palette. But on my eyes right now, this right here is this pink pinky duochrome, this one there, and I think it's just absolutely stunning. It's such, such a beautiful color, and if I do another order from Wee Makeup, like if they get more eyeshadows in and I want to do another, like make my another palette, I will probably fill the entire thing with the duochromes because those, I really, really love that formula. It is so soft and so beautiful, and it lasts. Um, what day is today? Yeah, yesterday. Um, I hope maybe, well, I don't know when this is going up, but the day before I'm filming this, I was out in the sun quite a bit, so that's why I'm a little bit kind of red all over. And I had just just a base and then one of these duochromes just across my eye, and that was it. And I was out in the sun for hours and so hot. And when I got home, it was actually still pretty decent. And that was actually like seven or eight hours out in the sun melting. My liner, this liner was like gone, but the eyeshadow was still there. So I was, I was pretty happy with that. Okay, let me just show you really fast this particular look that I got here, just so you can see which colors that I, I went with and how I how they applied. Okay, so, oh, and I should say I primed my eyes with the Hourglass Veil Primer again. Um, I think I'm pretty confident in my opinion on this, which is that I love it, <laughs> which sucks because it's 27 pounds. It's so expensive. It's really, really good, guys. Really good, especially for my oily eyes. Anyway, let's just put that off to the side for now. Sorry for my creaky chair. Okay, so the first color I went into was 113, which is kind of this soft, dusty rose color, which is kind of a crease shade. You can't really see it too much anymore, but it helped to kind of soften the eye. It's made it a really pretty kind of starter shade, just, just to get us on, you know, on track. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, I'll just wait for the ambulance to pass. Okay. Um, I found it went on really well. It's not a super deep shade, so it's not like, wow, impactful, but it's very soft and very easy. And I hope you can see just putting it on. It's smooth. It blends out really nice. There is not any patchiness with any of the mattes that I've tried so far. Really, really nice. They're very smooth, very easy to work with. So I started with 113, that, as I said, kind of dusty rose color, and then I went into the deeper shade. This is, I do my eyes pretty much the same every time. I need to get out of my rut and try some, some different techniques. Um, but then I went into 130, which is kind of a darker, pinky, plummy kind of color, um, and that's, it looks quite electric and magenta on the camera, but in person it's definitely more rosy looking um, than hot pink. Um, and so I did that on the outer corner just to kind of pull it out. Obviously did that on both sides, deepened up really nicely, blended into the previous shadow. Fantastic, no issues there. And again, no patchiness despite the fact that it's a darker, slightly deeper color. I then just buffed it with the lighter color a little bit just to smooth the edges, and I went in just a little bit on the brow bone here with 102. 
And the only reason I did that was just to kind of lighten up the top of the eye a little bit. Then I went ahead and I used a really dense kind of packing brush. I think that's what I would call it. What, what is it called on here? Anything? Oh, it just says medium blending, but it's this weird one that I got and it's like a really, really thick kind of stiff bristles and I find it works kind of well if you want to get like a lot of shimmer, if you want to get a lot of shimmer all over the eye. So I did that and I packed it on across most of the lid and then just used my finger to kind of smooth it out on the edges and blend it a little bit more. I didn't have to go back into the pink because the edges were really soft. Very happy with how that one looks, so pretty. I then came back later, I don't think I had this uh, filmed, and just put that, um, what is it, that 3D metal shade, that, what is it, 306, here on the inner corner to brighten the whole look up. So really, really happy with this eye look. And so far, I've been extremely impressed with these eyeshadows from We Makeup. So based on that, I don't have any hesitation in recommending them to you if you are looking to try another European, specifically Italian indie brand, um, which is pretty, I think, reasonably priced. They are not that expensive. It's not like super, super cheap drugstore prices, but it is reasonable within this kind of larger makeup market that we're in. And yeah, like I said, really beautiful quality. No, not even any patchiness. And I'm just thinking of the last palette that I swatched, which was the e.l.f. Retro Paradise one, and how they were so swatchy and streaky, just doing like the first swatchy. <laughs> how they were so patchy and streaky in the very first kind of just pass with the fingers, and these ones aren't. And it just reminds me that you can get really good quality products without having to spend two, three hundred pounds on like a palette or something like that. Not that we're spending that much, but it, you know what I mean. Okay, so the products I just tried for the first time today are the mascara and the lip products. So I just want to show you quickly me trying to apply this mascara. It didn't go great. So there's no like specific thing on here about it. I don't know, does it say what it's supposed to do? Oh, it's a volumizing mascara and that's what it says on the package. One of the things I found is that it's really liquid and so a lot came out on my eyelashes quite fast and it kind of clumped them all together. And I had to take quite a lot of product back off of the mascara wand and try and go back through my lashes to try and separate them out even a little bit because they just were like completely clumping. Then I had to get a clean mascara wand, you know, like one of those sample ones from some shop and like actually go through to try and pull them apart because they were really like tarantula, just like, you know, where they kind of stick together all the way across. So looking at them now, they look okay. They're a little clumpy looking still, but not bad. I'll leave a pinned comment down below to let you know how quickly I got raccoon eyes from this. It doesn't say it's waterproof. Um, so in my kind of normal world, that means that in about three or four hours, I'm going to have, have the raccoon eye kind of thing going on, which I'm used to with non-waterproof mascara. So we just, that's, that's my life. So, <laughs> um, maybe I should put like a clear primer over them or something. So I did film using the lip products, but I'm not going to show you because it's hideously embarrassing because clearly I have no idea still how to do my lip products, but let me just show you. Um, so this is the lip pencil, it's the even lip pencil, and let me just show you here on the back of the hand. It's extremely creamy, really, really nice lip pencil, um, enjoyed that. And then we have the lipstick, which is in the same complementary color. And I just wanted to show you what the outer, I don't know if we can zoom in on that enough. Where are we? Here we go. Can you see the cool imprint on there? I just thought it was so cute. Uh, let me just do this and let me show you. So they're pretty close. I think this, the liner is just like a touch, touch darker to give you a little bit of an effect around the lips. Um, very creamy as well. I've had it on for approximately as long as I've been filming this, so about 15-20 minutes, and I'm already getting quite a lot of loss around the inner rim of the lip, and sorry, that's, that's my bad there. That's me not knowing where to put that lip liner, lip liner. So it's very emollient and it just kind of comes right off, so I don't know if that means that you're gonna have to constantly keep on applying it. It is very 
comfortable to wear, but I just went to my teacup and I got lipstick all over it. So it's definitely not transfer proof. It's definitely just a normal standard silky kind of lipstick, satiny lipstick. Does it say what kind this is? It says, um, just so you know, so the lipstick, it says it's a lipstick with a light and creamy texture and a shiny finish. Um, thanks to its drop shape and application is precise, smooth, and highly pigmented with just one coat. I would agree with that. It is very pigmented and I did get this really quickly. Formulation enriched with vitamin E and delicate vanilla flavor. So yes, I can smell it um, even here, but vanilla is one of the smells I can tolerate. So for me, it's not that bad. It's the floral scents that I can't really, I can't really cope with those ones. So I like the pencil the liner pencil and I'll definitely use this one again. The lipstick, I really love this color and for me it's something I've been gravitating quite a lot to which is like these kind of grungy brown ready kind of tones and I really like it or it's actually like a brown purpley pinky kind of tone um, but I think this formula isn't gonna last for me. It's not gonna stay much longer than the duration of this video. And it is kind of like, I just did a really bad job, it's kind of like bleeding a little bit on the sides here but like I said I'm not very good with lipstick so it's possibly my fault so just in in total just kind of considering these products so what I would definitely recommend so far from we makeup is their uh, eyeshadows really lovely great great formula very happy with those and I really like the lip pencil um, the Lipstick is fine, it's very nice, but I don't think it's something I'm going to buy more of or reach for particularly because it isn't, I know it's not gonna stay. And the mascara, I'm not gonna give up on it yet, guys. <laughs> I've only tried it once. Um, so let me use this a little bit more and come back to you on some final thoughts on that. All right, that's it. Just a quick little video for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I've been, I'm really impressed so far with Wee Makeup, so I'll keep an eye on them in the future and see what else they come out with. If you like this video, uh, you can hit the like button down below or you can subscribe and come hang out with me again. I will be doing a giveaway on my channel very, very soon because we're just about to hit, or may have already by this time, I don't know, about 500 subscribers, which is so exciting. Um, yeah, so come hang out, enjoy the chill, hopefully the chill, and that's it. Have a really lovely day wherever you are and we will see you in my next video. Bye bye.